birth of a child is always a big event in the whole family. But let's be honest, only mother can always be 100% sure that she's a biological parent of the child. Many times father just has to believe. In the world of dragonflies, the faith is not enough. In many species of these animals, very popular is guarding the female by the male to make sure that his children will come into the world. Such a behavior occurs also in a beautiful demoiselle, which I often see here near the lake. But what do males do and why do they behave like that? When the copulation of dragonflies is over, males of some species stay close to the females to scare away competitors and not let them try to fertilize their chosen one. Many males do even more and after the copulation, when they form something like circle or heart shape, they don't release females and they stay attached to them all the time until they lay eggs. What happens after a short break for rest? It doesn't even disturb them in flying and they form characteristic tandem in the air. But why do they sacrifice? The fact of copulating with a female isn't enough? No. When the male dragonfly mates with a female, his special reproductive organs allow him to rinse the sperm of an individual that has already copulated with the female, or move his sperm inside of the female's body so that it doesn't participate in fertilization. After that, he inserts his own sperm into the female's reproductive system, and it means that the offspring that will go out from the water will have genes passed by the last male which has copulated with a female. Each of them wants to be the last one. Trust is not for dragonflies. stay here for a while, but I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I hope we will meet in the next video. Bye!